which crypto are compliant with the ISO 222. Welcome back to another video. I'm How to Buy Bitcoin, and today we will learn who is behind it and why you should care. So, without further ado, the ISO 222 is the new standard created by SWIFT to function as a messaging system between banks. This is their official website, and I even downloaded this silly book here, ISO 222 for dummies. And while I do not have the technical expertise, I do have a brain and I can connect the dots. So my first impression, it feels like propaganda because there are only positive sides. They don't have any downsides whatsoever. The top great things about ISO 222. So of course, this little guidebook here is created by Swift. So it is a technical guide for people who work with this. When I look at this, I have no idea what this means, but I do understand that this is designed to make you feel good about this new standard. And I understand the need to have a standard. It makes things easier. Imagine if every country in the world had their own messaging system between banks. It would really be a nightmare. But because we know SWIFT is behind ISO 222, we need to look at what SWIFT is. We are here on their official website. So what is SWIFT according to themselves? It is a member-owned connecting more than 11,000 banks, financial institutions, and corporations in more than 200 countries. SWIFT is overseen by the G10 central banks. So all the countries are listed right here. Really caught my attention is that all of these countries are very Western-based. It's not like any of these countries is actually independent. They all follow the same rules. And of course, all these central banks, they are in touch with each other. They have connections with the World Economic Forum, as you will see in a moment. But when it comes to crypto, I really wanted to understand the relation between the ISO 222, SWIFT, the World Economic Forum, and crypto. So this was the best article that I found on the topic. And here's what they say. ISO 222 coins may be treated more leniently by regulators and force mass adoption of the standard. So they are really trying to push this narrative that ISO 222 is really good, that we should all be using it. It will be implemented this year via SWIFT. And here's what they say. Specifically, coins that comply with the standard may be more rapidly adopted into the traditional financial system. Is it just me or this is the opposite of crypto? We don't want to be part of the traditional financial system. What is the point of crypto? Financial freedom to be far away from the banks, to have control of our own money. It is decentralization. So basically, ISO 222 is a Trojan horse. Like I've said in the previous video about the World Economic Forum partners. And some people even commented that, well, these crypto are the ones that we should buy because they have support. They will grow, no doubt. There is massive money behind it. And I understand the logic, but I think it's very naive to think that people who want to make us own nothing and be happy will give us the opportunity to make money with their cryptocurrencies, which is mostly Ripple and Stellar. But there are other ones as well, and we will see just in a moment. And you can just look at the price of Ripple and Stellar. It's not like they have been very good investments recently, have they? So I won't cover the whole article. I just want to cover the most important parts. So ISO 222 and the Federal Reserve payments in the European Union will transition to ISO 222 in November. So I really have a hard time understanding why this would be a good thing. Here's the deal. I don't want to be part of the European Union payment system. I don't want anything to do with the European Union. I don't want anything to do with the Federal Reserve, with central banks, with SWIFT. This is the complete opposite of what cryptocurrency should represent. I don't want to be forced to use this standard. If you still have some doubt about SWIFT, this should clarify. So I know Wikipedia is like the CNN of encyclopedias, but there's still some interesting information here. So countries that are not entirely aligned with the World Economic Forum goals or the Western agenda in general, which is not really Western anymore. It's like anti-Western because the population of the West is the one who is suffering the most from these insane policies, but they can just sanction countries, which doesn't seem very decentralized it's not something I want to transfer my money with. If you are still not convinced, 
maybe this should convince you. Monitoring by the NSA. The NSA, the National Security Agency, widely monitors banking transactions via SWIFT as well as credit card transactions. So, of course, every time you spend money, every time you transfer from other countries, every time you cash out from an ATM, they know exactly where you are, what you are spending, and who you are sending money to. So, you have no freedom whatsoever. SWIFT was named a target according to this fellow. The documents revealed that the NSA spied on SWIFT using a variety of methods. In April 2017, a group known as the Shadow Brokers released files from the NSA which indicate that the agency monitored financial transactions made through SWIFT. So whenever you use these cryptocurrencies, the NSA will be spying on you and they will know exactly what you are doing with your crypto, which is again complete opposite of what crypto should be so i don't understand people in crypto who like these coins and that's fine i just think it's important for you to know if you want to bet that the world economic forum will make you rich by buying one of these coins good luck to you maybe you're right maybe you're wrong i don't really care i just want to give you the information and then you can decide for yourself now as we will see Ripple and Stellar Lumens are member of the ISO 222 standards body. A standards body is like the founding members and they have leverage over the other cryptocurrencies that are compliant with this new standard. And it's very interesting because both of these cryptocurrencies are direct World Economic Forum partners as we've seen in the last video. So basically the World Economic Forum is dictating the cryptocurrencies down the list what they should do and if they obey they will have some benefits probably they will grow larger but that doesn't mean the price of these cryptos will go up maybe it will maybe it won't i don't think they want you to get rich from them but knowing they have the power to block your transaction is completely the opposite of what cryptocurrency stands for so let's talk about the other coins that are not ripple and stellar and the ones that are complying we do have synfin xdc which is compliant yota also compliant algorand algo also compliant hedera hashgraph hbar rumored to be compliant i think all these rumored to be compliant are actually compliant or they are working in that direction quant qnt compliant as well and finally cardano ada rumored to be compliant these are not rumors they are actively working towards the compliance route so me personally i don't want anything to do with all these cryptocurrencies they represent the worst in crypto i will leave all these links in the description so you can learn for yourself and read everything about the iso 222 and then you can make your own decision if the risks are worth it if you think it's bad if you think it's good let me know down in the comments and by the way if you're looking for a good crypto exchange that is not ftx i recommend the binance binance is the best crypto exchange it is the one i use and you will get a 20 percent discount for life on all your binance trading fees by using the link in the pinned comment so just to finalize the video i want to address the difference between ripple and stellar so ripple xrp is geared towards the banking sector and xlm stellar is geared towards governments and digital currencies for example ukraine chose stellar to build its official central bank digital currency so anyway i hope you learned something if you did smash the like button thank you for watching and i will see you next time